Hi guys, look back here and welcome to another FIFA 20 player review and today guys we're reviewing the 87 rated flashback SBC Javier Mascherano. This is definitely a trip down memory lane. I remember this guy when he was at Liverpool for good times and also for bad times. In fact, my actual memory of him was the time that he got sent off against Manchester United and he, and he basically refused to go off the pitch and Rafa Benitez had to like scream at him to come off. That's basically my memory of Mascherano but um, I, I suppose like Fabinho is like the kind of modern day version to Mascherano, uh, I'm guessing like a similar role and stuff like that, but obviously he did also play for West Ham and Barcelona in his uh, very impressive career, and I was able to complete his SPC for in the region of 50,000 coins, and in the four games that I played him, if he didn't score me any goals, we did uh, get me three assists, and he's also got a free stomach thoughts as well as two star skill moves. Moving along into him stats, his main stats are going to be his 93 shot power, his 92 short passing, as well as his 89 ball control, and uh, finally his 89 balance, and he did also have the engine chemistry style applied to to this Mascherano card. And also, guys, I want to say a massive thank you to all the support on, in particular, the latest video, the Chong review yesterday. It's almost got like 10,000 views now and over 140 likes. That is absolutely fantastic. Thank you guys so much for the support. One of the best videos that I've ever made. I've had like quite a few videos that have gone over 10,000 views, but not in the space of that kind of short time. Just absolutely fantastic. So, I really, really do appreciate it, guys. Honestly, it is uh, just fantastic the support that you guys are showing me at the moment. And uh, I'll tell you what, this Mascherano card looks very good. It's, listen, it's, it's a shame he doesn't play in Europe anymore. You know, you're limited to having to use him in maybe not the best league in the world, the CSL, although it's not certainly the worst because you can link him up with players like the Scream Hulk SBC, you could maybe try and do one of the um, Chinese Super League uh, League SBCs. There's like an Ed Air card and there's uh, someone else like Jonathan Jonathan or someone like that you can get. So you can kind of link him into a few decent players and obviously have Argentine players at the same time as well. And uh, I think he's fantastic. I have to say, I think he can play either as a centre mid or C CDM equally well. I think if I'm, you know, if I'm completely honest, I think he would suit a CDM position a little bit more. I think he's a little bit more defensively minded. Uh, he feels a little bit clunkier on the attack. He, don't get me wrong, he doesn't feel unusable when he's kind of going good the pitch. At the end of the day, he got me three assists in four games, but his dribbling stats look actually really, really good in summers, like 89 ball control, 90 composure, um, 89 balance, even his agility doesn't look too bad, but that dribbling at 64 was a, was a, you know, it, it let down his dribbling, it's fair to say that, but uh, even with the engine chem style, his dribbling does go up to 72 uh, and you know his balance goes up into the mid 90s he still felt a little bit clunky but at the same time we you know we use so many players as a sentiment or a CDM that feel clunky you know that's kind of the norm when you use those players in those types of positions so he doesn't have to feel like the most smoothest player at the same time but just so you know his dribbling like isn't out of this world or anything like that he's not going to be like a Lionel Messi like going past the whole team and stuff he can't uh, really do that but um Defensively minded, he was superb. But his first point for me is actually going to be his passing three assists in the four games. I couldn't fault that. I thought his through balls, his general short passing was very good. Obviously, he's got that 92 short passing that goes up to 96 with the engine cam style. His vision goes up into the uh, into the mid 80s, which is pretty nice. His uh, long passing goes to 99. Although I'll admit I didn't use his long passing at all. I've I said quite a few times in FIFA 20 in my reviews, um, my style of play isn't to play the long ball type of game. It's to play the short, simple passes that seems to kind of win me games by playing the through balls. And and stuff like that. So long passing, yes, it goes to the internet. That might be some, good, you know, that might be good for people that play the long ball type of game, but that just doesn't suit me personally. So I can't really comment a lot on his long passing, but short passing and through balls, quality. Couldn't couldn't fault that whatsoever. You know, three assists in four games, that's a great return from a sentiment fielder. So that's absolutely fantastic. His second pro will also be his interceptions. He made so many interceptions. He was fantastic just stopping attacks for the opposition dead, where he'd be able to make that interception and then start, you know, making the passes or trying to drive himself towards the opposition, trying to, you know, obviously start off attacks and stuff and just get out of the danger zone but he's got that 92 interceptions and it feels really really good in game honestly he made so many for me and they were really really impressive so and again for defensively wise with the interceptions absolutely insane and then his final pro as well will also be his tackling once again very very solid tackling so that's 88 uh, stand tackle 87 side tackle and he deserves to have those stats obviously at Liverpool and I'm pretty certain at West Ham he played as a, a holding CDM uh, type of role but obviously at Barcelona he was mostly converted to a centre back. I think occasionally he did play as a CDM, but he mostly played as a centre-back. So, he deserves to have these really, really high, good defensive stats. And his tackling, again, in-game was very, very good. And, um, on the whole, it's a really, really awesome card, I have to say. I mean, yes, you know, for 75,000 coins from scratch, it's a lot for a card that doesn't play in the major European leagues. He's not the easiest to link into, obviously, in the world. You know, obviously, if you've got maybe some uh, CSL players, you can kind of get them on good chemistry and stuff, but, or obviously, Argentine players. But, you know, it's not the most best value for SBC that we've seen in FIFA 20, 
rookie, but he's still pretty awesome. And he can definitely do a job. If you can get him into full chemistry, he's more than good enough to use in your team. I think there's, there's not really any part of the card that's that much of an issue. Um, it's just obviously trying to fit him into a good team and get good chemistry. That's the only kind of problem. That's probably why he slightly goes down in my overall rating. But apart from that, good cards, twos in game, didn't put a foot wrong, and I did enjoy him. But anyway, guys, that is going to finish this play. Thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you guys later.